This video will use Pascal's principle to illustrate the use of a hydraulic system to provide a large force, uh, larger than the input force. So if this hydraulic system, hypothetical, is built with a, a small cylinder that has a diameter of 4 centimeters, though the radius is 2 centimeters. The large cylinder in the system has a diameter of 20 centimeters, so the radius will be 10 centimeters there. This uh, system has 65 pounds of extra force applied after the system gets set up. There are movable pistons on the two sides, and we have hydraulic fluid, kind of an oily substance here, that's incompressible. So when we press down here, uh, Pascal's principle tells us that we will create extra pressure, force over area. That extra pressure will be uh, existing every place in the fluid and especially of interest to us is what's the extra pressure and result of that pressure underneath this movable piston on the right. So we're going to press down on the piston here. The piston on the right side can carry some load upward. So what is the weight of the object over here that can be lifted? So 65 pounds of extra pressure here. Let's go ahead and uh, see how we proceed. The Pascal's principle method says that this pressure we create on the left, the force on the left piston divided by the area of the left piston, is equal to the force that exists on the right piston divided by the area of the right piston. Force over area is pressure. Pascal's principle says that this extra pressure is felt every place in the system. So we don't need to convert to newtons. We could. We don't need to convert to meters for the radius, we could, but uh, as long as we're consistent and that we report the force on the right in pounds when we use pounds on the left side, we're okay, and this is for primarily being used by students in the United States, so we'll use pounds rather than newtons. The area is calculated with pi r squared, and the pi's cancel. We have the same area calculation on both sides. Do not forget to incorporate the square. The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. I cannot cancel the square on both sides. I must perform that operation. Well, we're ready to do the operation. and You should verify this on your own calculator. 65 pounds. We multiply both sides by 100. As we have 10 squared here, that's a factor of 100 in the denominator on the right side. And then we divide our 65 times 100 by 4. And whatever order you choose to do that operation using your calculator, we find that we have available a force of 1,625 newtons, sorry, pounds, on the right side. 1,625 pounds. Though this is a machine, we've multiplied the output force through the use of Pascal's principle, and the ratio of the areas gives us a uh, multiplication of the force. Uh, Pascal's principle, we have the same pressure on the left and the right side, over on the right side, we have a bigger area, so we're going to have a larger force available. This ignores any friction in the system. Another comment would be there is a penalty to pay for all machines that multiply force. That penalty is that we must move this small piston a long distance, and the large piston will move a small distance. So we're pushing fluid down here with a small area. We have to push a certain volume to fill in the volume created by the piston moving up on the right side. Ignoring friction, the work done on the left side is equal to the work done on the right side. The amount of work, force times distance. So we have a small force, large distance of motion of this piston. We have a large force and a small uh, distance of motion for the piston over here. So that's Pascal's principle applied to hydraulic system. The Pascal's principle says we have the same force on the two points of interest, the left piston and the right piston. Because the area is larger on the right side, the force available is larger on the right side. So you ought to create your own little hydraulic system, do some practice problems, and ask your instructor questions.